Pipes Warren from the ICA. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about Graining Ari Alexa. This is uh, ProRes 444. It's not Ari Raw, so I cannot get access to any raw metadata settings from the Ari Alexa camera to change anything like I can with the RED because it's not a raw file. This is actually a raw file. This is a RED file. This is an Ari Alexa back to back. LUTs are now supplied with the Resolve system. So if you want to just see what a LUT will do to this, just right click, go to your LUT tab. I'm actually doing it on, on the node, 3D, and there's an ARI Alexa Log C to Rex, Rex 709 LUT there. So that will change this and profile it and show it to you in HD color space, which is Rex 709, which is great for viewing on set, great for baking in dailies. I wouldn't necessarily use this for grading because I like to uh, get to that place myself. But again, very useful for quick look to see how we can convert a log C image, which is quite a traditional, traditionally flat image as we can see here. So not ideal for client viewing or for editing for that matter of fact. Uh, people have asked me as well, can we use this on any other material? Well, yes, you can. We could go to this red shot here, which is the red log film, and we could look at that and apply that same ARRI LUT onto there. It doesn't stop you doing it. It won't say, oh, hang on, you're not log C original. You cannot use this LUT. Now, it's saying Rec 7.9, which won't be traditionally true, uh, but, hey, it's going to give you a nicer image to work with, and now that is one of the quick and easy options you have. There's nothing to stop you using that. Technically, won't be correct, but it's a lot closer or probably a likeable image than what the flat image was before we put that on there. So you can use these LUTs, get them into the machine, and you can obviously use them. A little bit about grading this. One of the most important things I uh, always say to people from showing them now, or teaching them now, here's a shot of a bar here, Outback Australia. Uh, we could use any of this, but as I run it on, we see there's a motorbike coming in here. So don't start grading it back there. Spend five minutes getting it really nice and go, oh, actually, they're going to use this shot where he comes through and he rides through all your grads or your grades. So bring it up. Bring him into shot and start grading there. Same with any shot. Always look for that magic part of the shot you're grading. When the eyes are open, when the person's looking at you, this is where you stop. Because as colorists, we spend a lot of time on still frames grading things. So think a little bit about where you're going to stop to start to grade. I always say to people, explore your images. Let's put up, uh, right click on the still here, brings you up this option, waveform options. Let's bring up a parade. This is showing me the levels of red, green, and blue. And we can see it's around the middle of my waveform here. Nothing down on the blacks here and not too much up at my whites. So, if I lift this here by using my wheel, scroll wheel, I can push my whites. I can explore what information I have in this shot. Take my blacks down. Is there detail crush? Can I see what is inside here? Get to know your material that you're working with. Get to know the format, what are its limitations. What are its plus points? Then use my mid-tones here. And I'm just going to overall just bring that down a little bit. I don't want to crush the image, but mid-tones, I'm adding some just some more contrast. One thing I like about the ARRI is I've not touched any color controls at all. It does track very nicely, and by that I mean these colors track when I apply contrast. So in a way, I've created my own little up there to get me started for my first node. That is one of the key things about using this material, that it does hold up. I haven't had to come in here and start to grade this a certain way because I've added some contrast. Your first node should always be a balance like that. Avoid any clipping, avoid any crushing. Then go to your second node and start to do some creative grading. One tip, always look at things you know. Skin tones you pretty much know, blue skies, and another great one is a gray road. Okay, That needs to be neutral gray most of the time. 
if you come to this shot and you can see there, look at that shot, look at this grey, you can now see there is a warm cast in there. Look in there. Now what can you see? You can see there's a little bit of green across it. Balance that out and the rest of your shot will come in. There's little clues in every picture that will help you balance and get a good grade to start with. Because unless you can grade this picture very evenly and using the primary controls, and by those I just mean these color wheels in here, then it's going to be very hard for you to create anything really cool and sexy down the line. So concentrate on the primaries, get this balanced. From there, you can go on and do some new, some really cool stuff. And this material does uh, work very well in Resolve, not in Resolve, in any color grading system. I find you can manipulate the image and you can get a very pleasant result. Thanks for listening. Check out our RCA website if you're keen on more color correction. If you're keen on online classes and maybe you're too far away from the places that we run classes, then you can always take the online classes, which is a thing called Fast Forward at FX PhD. Uh, have a look at that, and that's 10, 30-minute lessons on all different subjects of Resolve. It's a great way to get you started. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for some more. Take care. Bye-bye.